It says knowing who you are will give you a purpose now. Right? I was talking to a police officer earlier today. And he mentioned, he was like, yo, by us being out here, the brother tried to stop us from teaching the Bible. We ain't out there hanging nobody from no damn trees. Right. We're teaching you, bro, that you're not black, you're not Hispanic, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Stop doing drugs, stop selling drugs, stop fornicating. Stop doing all these things that plague our community. Right. They don't want you to hear that, though. Right. Hey, hey, that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. You're Israelites on the time to do. Let's look at Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Now let me show you why our people do drugs, my brother over there. Why do our people, why are our people addicted to drugs in our community? And brothers don't want the answer. Why do we, why do we do drugs as a people? Read 28 verse 15, Deuteronomy. We're going to show you where that comes from and it actually we're suffering the curses of God. We suffer from low self-esteem, we don't know our identity, and to be honest, we envy our oppressors and we love to be wicked. And love to be evil and love to go against God. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He says all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us, right? Let's deal with why do our people do drugs to try and escape reality. What's the reality? What's the reality that our people are living in that we try to escape? That's why we want to join, we want to live the life of our oppressors here in America. What's that reality? What are we trying to escape in the community? Poverty, right? Low self-esteem, lack of identity, we hate ourselves, murder, all those different things going on. A lot of us was raised without our mothers and fathers, our parents, single parent households. Self-hatred where our women want to want to change the texture of their hair, change the color of their hair, want to bleach their skins. They don't want to look like how God created them. Right. But with you, brother, let's read verse 65. Give me verse 65. Verse 65. Yeah. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. So the reason why our people are strung out on drugs, the reason why you got to take a strong drink when you get off of work, the reason why you want to smoke that marijuana or, or sniff that line of coke or pump heroin in your veins. The reason why our people do those things is what? Read, read verse 65 again. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. Our people don't have no ease amongst these nations. It don't matter what class of people you at. You can be the poorest black man on earth and you can be Oprah Winfrey, one of the richest. And you still go through and suffer poverty. You suffer oppression. You suffer right. racism. Right. You suffer classism here in America. Right. Because among these nations we shall have what? And among these nations shall there find no ease. So we find no ease. So when you find no ease amongst these nations, what happens? What do you want to do? You want to go now and smoke drugs, do drugs, which leads to a life of crime. You right. see all these police out here? They're not here to, to stop the, the pride parade. They're here for, for you, brother, that's depressed, that doesn't know who you are, that hates yourself, hates your people to get out of line and do something crazy right. so that you can fill up these prisons that were created for you. Right. They build more prisons and schools because of you, so-called black man. Right. They're not building them to put the other nations in there. Right. If society is set up, you have no ease, you're living in poverty, you get the worst education so that you can be strung out on drugs, sell drugs, do drugs, so that you can end up in those prison systems that they fill and that they have you feel to make them rich. Right. It's a trick game. But our people don't want to hear that. We want to join hand in hand with our oppressors here and act like everything is good. Yeah. Read it again from the top, 65. And among these nations shall thy find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. The problem is we got to work for everything we got today. That's right. 
And we're suffering these things. That's why you're strung out on drugs. You don't have any self-esteem. You don't know who you are. Hey. Read. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. A what? A trembling heart. God forbid you driving. It don't matter what kind of car. Don't be a, don't be a black man that's making good money. You're driving up the street with a nice car. You see those blue lights flashing behind you. What comes into your mind right there? Fear. It doesn't matter. You got your license straight, your registration straight. You got your car insurance, everything good, and you're not speeding. You see those blue lights, you're automatically scared. Why? Because you don't know if you're going to make it home that night or have put in jail for some foolishness. Hey. That's the plight that we live. That's why we do these drugs to read. And failing of eyes. And failing of eyes. Nothing but crying. You were down there brought to the tears earlier. I saw it in you. I saw the pain in your spirit. All of our people wake up in pain. Wake up not knowing how we're going to provide for our family. Let the, let, the, let, let the company that we work for fire us today. How are we going to pay our bills now? We're set up to live a life of crime here and live to hate ourselves, hate our people. You understand that? But that's why we come out here. We're not coming out here to teach no hate. Hey. We come out here to show the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that you can live a better life. Hey. You can live a godly life. You don't have to suffer depression and be stirred out on drugs. You can learn how to raise your women, raise your sons to become godly individuals so that you don't have to deal with the, the low self-esteem that we deal with today as a people. Read that from the top again, 65. And among these nations shall there find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes. Failing of eyes, read. And sorrow of mind. And sorrow of mind. That's your depression right there. The so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are suffering from depression. Hey. Every single one of us deal with some form of depression. Hey. That's why we use our devices. Guess what's a device? Buying things. Buying and selling things. Sometimes our people just may want to, if you're rich, you want to buy a new car just to feel like you're somebody. Hey. You want to get that, that new job or be amongst the other nations because you're so depressed and you hate yourself. You don't want to be around your people to the point where that makes you feel good. That's your drug. That's your addiction. Hey. And we see a lot of that out here every single week we come out here. Hey. And the first thing they want to do is try to stop us from helping our people learn who they are so that they can get off of drugs. That's what we're about. Hey. That's right. Helping our people fix their lives. Hey. Fix your marriages. Fix yourself. So that we don't need to have the other nations police in our communities. Hey. We can start doing our own thing, living a godly life. But they don't want that thing. They don't want that thing. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. How you doing, bro? All praises. What's your name? We're dealing with... How you doing, Tavon? We're dealing with why our people are strung out on drugs today in our community. And how, why... Is it a big problem? Drug yeah. abuse? Why do you think our people do drugs? Escape freedom. To escape, to escape the, the, the curses that we're dealing with here. But what we're trying to show you this here, get Deuteronomy 7 and 6, so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're more than just a black man. You're more than just a black woman. You're more than just a Hispanic. You are God's chosen people, and you deserve to start keeping God's laws so you can live a holy life. Read right, that. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Right, let's see if this is hatred now. Because every time we come out here, we're told that we're teaching hate. When we're teaching brothers and sisters to love each other right. and to love one another, right. to stop doing drugs, right. stop selling drugs, right. stop robbing, stop stealing, and come back to who you are. Right. That's not hatred, that's love. Right. But the problem is, this system here does not want you to love yourself. Right. They want you to remain the way you are so that they can keep their foot on your necks. Right. But we're against that thing. And that's the problem. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Most high God call you black, Hispanics, and Native American a holy people. Special, brother. Special. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you were created to be a God on this earth, brother. Brother, you were created to be a God on this earth. Above all people, we're not taught that. We're taught to strive for equality. Right. As long as we're fighting for equality on this planet, we will never be equal as a people. That's right. Let me ask you a question, bro. Is that your girlfriend? Y'all together? Okay. Let me ask you, just to be tactful, right? Do y'all love each other? Most definitely. Most definitely, right? 
how do you think um, how do you think God feels about dealing with um, people interracial relationships? As long as we love each other, there shouldn't be no problem. As long as you love each other, you love him, right? What's your nationality, sis? Irish. Now let me show you something here, because the Most High God He did divide the nations, right? But people would take what we're about to bring out now as hatred. But let me show you something real quick. Get, give me um, give me Tobit. Right? Because our job is to bring out God's laws. We just showed you, right? You do drugs. You know what another device our people use? When when they're feeling depressed or low on themselves, what do athletes normally do? What's what's the main thing with athletes? Like they, they go out to get rich and who do they marry? A woman of another nation, right? Sis knows that. She's not, she's not ignorant towards it. We, we're being frank right now, right? We're dealing honestly. When, when our brothers get a little bit of money and stuff like that, the main issue is they go out and deal with women of the other nations, right? That's another vice. That's just like the, 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 the brother pumping on coke, or sniffing coke, doing crack or whatever's going on. Because we suffer from low self-esteem. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Um, you got that in Tobit? Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Beware of all whoredom, my son. So the Most High God is, is identifying what whoredom is now. And we're dealing with the devices that our people use to escape reality. Guess what? Some of our people may use homosexuality to escape reality. Because they, they've suffered something traumatizing in their life. So they turn to something else. Read. Hey, bro, bro, you need to stick around just for a second, bro. Read. Beware of all whoredom, my son. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. It says chiefly take a wife of the seed of your fathers. Now the brother walked away because I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't want to hear it. But our job is to show him that just like we can deal with the brother that's doing drugs or suffer from depression, you preferring the other nations that's part of your depression and your issues as well. Read. And take not a strange woman to wife. It says don't take a woman of another nation to wife. Read. Which is not of thy father's tribe, for we are the children of the prophets. Because it says, bro, we are the children of the prophets. We are God's chosen people. Hey. Read. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, remember my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred. Now, let me ask you a question, sis. Normally, now, now you're you're of another nation, right? Are you? What's your nationality? White. You're white, right? In 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 most white households, if you want to come home with a black boyfriend, we're dealing with a, a whole nation. Would there be an issue, somewhat of an issue going on? No, my family. Yeah, not with your family, but you know some people that may have an issue with that, right? Right. That's just natural. That's reality, right? And why do you think they would have an issue with it? Because it's different and it's against your own people. Right? You want to keep your bloodline going. You want to keep your nation going. You want to keep your heritage going. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially for you. And especially for our brothers. Read. Beware of... Read verse 13. Verse 13. Now therefore, my son, love thy brethren. It says, love your brethren. So just like we dealt with the brother dealing with drug addiction, right? Because we're going through poverty... We're going through oppression. We're going through affliction. We go through these things. That's why we turn to alcoholism. That's why we turn to drug abuse. It's low self-esteem. You don't know who you are. You think you're the bottom because you're told that you're the bottom your entire life. So one of those vices is that little young poor black boy that, get, that comes up from the dirt. He learns how to dribble a ball. He becomes six foot seven. He can dunk real good. Now he's off with a million dollar contract and the first Nation, he, he goes away from that, 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 that girlfriend that he had from the start. 
from high school that came up with him in the mud. And he goes and marries a woman of another nation. Why? To feel like he's more and better. To appease that oppression that he has. Right. That self-hatred that he has for himself. Right. Read that again. Now therefore, my son, love thy brethren. Right. It's telling you to love your brethren. Read. And despise not in thy heart thy brethren. It says don't hate your people by doing what? So what is God saying about interracial relationships? You, you hate your people when you do this. Read. Bring it out. The sons and daughters of thy people, and not taking a wife of them, and not taking a wife of your own people. That's a device used by our people because they hate them. They don't love their neighbor as their self. They don't love their self. It's part of the depression. So right. depression goes deeper than just, I'm broke. I can't make, I can't pay my bills. Some people, why do you think, why do you think our people dye their hair blonde? Why would a black woman, a so-called black woman, pay thousands of dollars on the year to change the texture of their hair? Why do you think they do that? Because it's self-hate. They don't love themselves. They don't hear that they're God's chosen people. They don't hear that the woolly hair on their head is beautiful and is special. You understand that? So our job is to teach our people who they are so that they can come out and start feeling better in society being more of an asset to society and not being more not so, not being a statistic to fill up the prison houses and to fill up the the, 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 the halfway house and to fill up the drug abuse clinics and to fill up all these different things that our people go through because they hate themselves right hey, you understand that give me on titus chapter two so what are you supposed to try to do once you understand that you're an israelite you're supposed to strive to be what? Are you supposed to be doing drugs? Why? So you're supposed to love yourself enough and know that you have a God now. You're not just a so-called black man, the bottom of the barrel, last hired, first fight. Hey. You're a God walking this earth here. Hey. You must understand that so that you can start loving yourself so that you can learn to love your people as well. Hey. That'll stop black on black crime. Hey. That'll stop high drug abuse rates. Right. That'll stop single parent household. That'll stop the issues that's going on in our community. Read that. Titus chapter 2 verse 1. Go ahead. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. So we come out here to teach the doctrine of Christ. We don't come out here to teach hatred. We don't come out here to teach um, nothing else but for our people to love themselves. Right. Why is that an issue? Hey, bro, how you doing, bro? Why are you take a flyer, man? And that's the problem with our people. But let a brother get shot down in the street tomorrow by a police officer. All hell will break loose. Right. And they're going to want to march. Forget a gay pride march. They're going to want to march, Black Lives Matter, and all that stuff because another white man shot a black man down. Right. Guess what? You deserve to be shot down because you don't want to hear the word of God and you don't want to change. You deserve that. The problem with our people is too many times we like to point the finger at the other people in the other nation. Right. Instead of taking into account what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Which is keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me sober minded in Titus with the men. Age, go ahead. Titus chapter 2, verse 2. So this yeah. is what you gotta be doing, man. Three. That the aged men be sober. It says that the aged men be sober now, not high, not drunk, not depressed, feeling, feeling bad. Depression to kill you. Three. Grave, grave, meaning serious about this thing here. Not laughing and playing around like a lot of our brothers that's in the midst of this, this stuff here today. Read. Temperate. Temperate, meaning you're not hot-headed, ready to fight the next man that you see. Right. Just because he stepped on your shoes. Right. Those are things that plague our community, but our brothers and sisters don't want to hear that. How y'all doing today, fam? Let me ask y'all a question. What's your nationality? Uh, come here for a second. Let me show you something. Sisters, sisters. But we're out here doing and showing our people who we are according to the Bible. And you know what that does? Is it important to know who you are? Why is it important, bro? It gives us purpose, right? So what is our divine purpose? Finish that in Titus and give me um 10 and 12 um do the event. Yeah, do the run. Go ahead. Titus chapter 2, verse 2. It says, knowing who you are will give you a purpose now. Right? I was talking to a police officer earlier today. And he mentioned, he was like, yo, by us being out here, the brother tried to stop us from teaching the Bible. 
We ain't out there hanging nobody from no damn trees. Right. We're teaching you, bro, that you're not black, you're not Hispanic, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Stop doing drugs, stop selling drugs, stop fornicating, stop doing all these things that plague our community. Right. They don't want you to hear that, though. Right. I don't know if you can Read. Titus chapter 2, verse 2. That the aged men be sober. Be sober. Grave. Grave, serious. Read. Temperate. Uh huh. Sound in faith. Sound in faith. In charity and patience. In charity and in patience. That's the love. God is love, right? But now you said your purpose. Know who you are. What's your purpose? What's your duty? What are you here for? What is your purpose, bro? Why why the most I create you? Huh? To do his will. Why did the most I create you, sis? What's your name? Huh? Jillian? Why the most I create you? Huh? Just spread the word. What about you? What's your name? Kendall. Why did the Most High create you? What's the God's purpose? To spread his word? It's more than that. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. We're going over the reason why the Most High God created everybody. What is your purpose? He didn't create everybody to, to hold hands and be equal and all those things. Everyone was created with a purpose. The nations were divided and he created a ruling class and a serving class. But the reason why the, the ruling class is serving now because we don't do the most high's purpose. Right. Read that. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? I'm asking you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you Israelites, according to the Bible. Right. This is not a religious book. This is a book left for your forefathers to show you who you are in these last days so that you can change your life. So that you can turn to him and start loving yourself, believing in yourself so that you can stop dealing with that oppression and that, that depression that we go through as a people. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Our job is to fear God. What's, what does it mean to fear God, sis? You ready to go, ain't you? Nah, I see. A couple more minutes, right? What does it mean to fear God? Are we supposed to be afraid of our God? Are we supposed to be afraid of our God? What about you, sis? What about you? Are we? What you got? Okay, that's a great question. Who else is from the tribe of Judah? Because we show you that the African, so-called African American blacks, are from the tribe of Judah, right? Is it better than being called black? Let's see. Give me Hebrews. Hebrews chapter seven, verse fourteen. Go ahead. For it is evident. It says it is evident. That, that means without any shadow of a doubt. Read. That our Lord. That our Lord. Who is our Lord and Savior? Who is our Lord and Savior? Jesus? What about you, sis? Jesus? What about you? Who's our Lord and Savior? Jesus? What about you? Jesus Christ, right? Read it again from the top. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That it is evident that our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah. So now the question is, what does the tribe of Judah look like? Who is the tribe of Judah? How do we know that the African Americans is from the tribe of Judah? Give me that in Jeremiah. And then we're gonna show, who is this man right here? Jesus Christ? Is it the picture, it's the image that they tell us is Jesus Christ though, right? What about this guy? Same thing, right? Some of our grandmamas had that in their in house right now, right? That's part of our destruction, that's part of our oppression. Give me that. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse two. Go ahead. Judah mourneth. It says, so now he's dealing with the tribe of Judah. It said it's evident that Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah. So he said, Judah mourneth three. And the gates thereof languish. Our leadership is languishing today. You know why our leadership languishes? Our leadership has failed us because they don't show us who we are and they want us to be in a system here that has nothing to do with our salvation but right. everything to do with our oppression today. Right. And our self-hatred. Read. They are black. What a color of Jews. They are black. Unto what? Unto the ground. It says the Jews, the tribe of Judah, are black unto the ground. That's right. So where do we get this image from? If Jesus Christ from the tribe of Judah, what color would Jesus Christ be? Huh? He'd be a black man, right? Let's prove that now. Can we prove that according to the Bible? What's your name, sis? Patrice? Can we prove the color of Jesus Christ? Is the question. 
Is it in the Bible? Give me that in Revelation 1. How you doing, bro? He said the lineage, you determine your lineage from your mother. You said you determine your lineage from your mother. That's right. Okay. So let's see, does it, where'd you get that from? Bro? What? Where'd you get that from? About four and a half years of Hebrew study. Okay. It says it's evident that our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah, Jesus Christ, right? The brother said that you come from the, the lineage of your mother. Does your mother carry the seed? No. So how can you come from that lineage? Your mother carries the egg, right? Right. But so, what's living? No, 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 no. You, you asked Get me Numbers question. chapter 1. You asked me a question. And you answered it. You said, no, I said, does the right mother carry the seed? You said no. So we left it at that. Read. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. They declared their what? Their pedigrees. What is a pedigree, sis? What's a pedigree? A lineage, right? A bloodline, a breed. The, your nation of people. How are you doing today, sis? They say they declared their pedigree from what? After their family. After their family. So their family lines, their family trees, their pedigree is determined how? By the house. Of their father, of their mother, of their father, of the woman, of their father. Your pedigree is determined by the house of your fathers. That's what the Bible says. That's what we're governed by. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.